Okay, now this is the, the 3D or the build side, and this is where we have control over uh, all aspects of the model. So let's just start out real quick with the, with the basics of them. Uh, that we have suspension controls where we can raise and lower, okay? But we can also do the raising and lower independently of, the, uh, of each other. Okay, let's see, once you stop, it starts rendering again. Uh, we have control of the wheel sizes, so I can put a 17 on the front and an 18 on the back. Uh, and you see how I've got it coming up through the wheel here. So what I can do is go to the tire controls and turn down the tire profile. Okay, so that now when I zoom back out, there we go. Alright, so we have control of offsets uh, as well in the front and the rear. So if I push the offset out to the edge to get a little bit more in and then in the rear to get a little bit more dish in it. Okay, I can still rotate it again. Now this body panel here, uh, this options panel, this is where we can control all the options for this car. Uh, so we can do things like uh, we can turn the fenders off uh, to get a high boy. Okay, and we'll turn them back on. Uh, I can control uh, the amount of the chop. So there's unchopped, there's a two inch chop, and a three inch chop. Okay, uh, let's say that uh, we didn't want uh, the hood. You know what? That's got a smooth hood on it. Let's say we wanted to put a uh, a louvered hood on. So the smooth and then the louvered. So there you go. And then the just the hood top. Alright. Now let's scroll down here. We can even go ahead and do as much as no top. Alright. So let's go ahead and put the smooth hood back on. Louvered hood maybe. Uh, now it's going to give us all kinds of suspension options as well. So let's scroll back up and let's turn off the fenders. And let's scroll down and let's turn off the front bumper. Okay. So you see we've got an independent front end underneath it right now. So we're actually able to come back in here to the front suspension options and change it to a, an axled car. Uh, versus the uh, independent. So we have all kinds of well, things we can do. A bobbed frame as, re as well. Uh, front spreader bar. I don't have him on the list yet, but he'll be on there. So you'd be able to actually turn the front spreader bar off, but you see you can also bob the, the front frame rails um, as well as put just a standard frame back on it. Uh, so let's say you want that mirror. You know what? You know, we see when I rotate it, we see how we've got the light tan uh, interior. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can hit interior and go to like a black or even a red interior. And then if I click on the tent, I can reduce the amount of tent so that I can see more of that interior. About 30. Um, I don't like that mirror that's on there, so we'll turn it off. Uh, or I could turn it back on and just tell it to be. I think this should work anyway. Black. So you can see the flexibility of, of what we've got going on. Uh, let's run back in here and let's to the grill insert uh, in a black as well. And then let's go ahead and bob those frame rails. And then let's turn off the hood sides. We'll put smooth hood sides back on it. Uh, and I can still control the height of the car and a rear. 
Okay, so that gets us through most of these. Uh, let's run through uh, some wheel options and show you kind of how that works real quick too here. So what we'll do is you just um, you click on a wheel. It'll take a second to load these wheels in. But what it also will do is let us have control over all aspects of the wheel as well, just like the body. So let's say that we want the hoops. In this case, we're going to come down here and do a polished aluminum. And the face is going to be polished aluminum. And so are all these other pieces of it. Okay. Uh, it's just to give you an idea. So if I wanted to do that ring in a flat black. You'll see how it gives that little ring in flat black. Uh, maybe the main face is going to be in a brushed. All the rest of it stays polished. And then maybe we'll just do for a little stylish interpretation. Turn the wheels a little bit. Kind of tight right back here on the back so we have control of our, of our track width so I can move those wheels in and out. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to a 20. Then bring down the, uh, the tire size a little bit. Mm. Push it back out. Mm. So that should get us pretty good. Uh, let it sit here and cook for a second. And that just shows you some of the options that are available uh, on the 3D site.